<laughs> I'm not the stag. I get to watch someone get humiliated. I don't get to be the one who I've been not there and done time. that. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to our channel. This is Alice, I'm Kai and together we're the Alakai Project. So today we're going to be looking into a little bit about Prague. Yeah. Um, so I just, I'm heading to Prague in May this year um, on a stag do, so it's going to be messy probably. I, I doubt I'm going to remember much. Um, and, well, as an idiot in Prague, it would be good to know a little <laughs> bit, you know, of the do's and don'ts, what to look out for, what to look for what to actually look for i suppose yeah what to expect yeah just, and just general whether, stuff isn't it yeah whether you can be a little bit prepared i guess mm. um, and not to upset the locals well i'll try not to yeah i mean they might just not like my face i don't Maybe. know <laughs> um but yeah so today's video is um it was posted by honest guide um it says the only what it's the only video you'll need no i can't even read <laughs> <laughs> the only video you need to watch for Prague. Sounds promising. It sounds promising. Yeah. That's exactly what I need. Yeah. That's for sure. One video to cover it all. One video to cover it all. Let's go. Right, let's begin. Well, hello there. My name is Yannick, and I'm the honest guide of Prague. Hello, Yannick. Which appears to be the city that you picked for your vacation. And I'm glad uh -huh. that you decided well, I don't know if it was my choice. <laughs> through a YouTube Beer. video. And if you're the kind of person that just likes to watch one video where everything is explained, this yes. is the yes. video. This is actually nice. Really Perfect. From the airport, you can obviously take a taxi or get an Uber. <laughs> yes, we have that here. But we recommend as locals to use the public transport. It's fast, reliable, and cheap. Uh, from the airport okay. to the city center, it's going to take oh, like 35 nice. minutes. Oh, just hop on the bus number 119. In fairness, though, I, I think we've already got shuttles you've got transport yeah i think it's yeah. already organized so don't okay. need to worry too much about so this that. is probably for next time we but then he maybe. did say about just public tra transport in general so yeah. maybe when we're there actually mm, using you can use it around yeah i don't know <laughs> in metro, if i'm capable we'll get you to the city center and that will cost you 40 czech crowns which is like 1.5 euros we'll get to that oh, okay so one and a half wow. euros for like a 35 to 40 minute journey it's yeah and to get you very, from the airport reasonable. that's really good yeah. That is really reasonable. Ooh, oh, hello. I love clocks. I love that. I like and that church. Yeah, is, it, is it a church? Is it? I guess so, yeah. Drawer? It's probably a church. Yeah. I was thinking castle, but I doubt it. That looks awesome. So far, so good. Yeah. Once you're in the city center, public transport is the thing to go for. Now, if you Google transportation from the airport, you may come across something called the Airport Express, which is a bus that goes from the airport to the main train station but it costs right now is priced double more than double than the regular public transport and it oh, only runs yeah. like every 30 minutes so you will have to wait for it a lot the regular buses run like every five minutes so you don't oh, need to wait wow. in line and it's much faster once again us locals 119 to a metro to the city center other points okay. where you may enter the city better, can be yeah. done. Uh, crazy, train isn't it? stations. There are Praying actually on three, the tourists. maybe four. Uh, the main ones are Masarykovo Nadraji. Once you're there, yeah, you're in the city center. Uh, same goes no, for the I main train it. station. Sorry, Nadraji don't Nadraji. Oh Please God. do not take taxis that stand around the station. They will yeah. most likely overcharge you. If you take a train, you're in the city center. You can easily walk to your hotel, Airbnb, and so on. Nice. Once in the city center, and um, it looks rather walkable, especially in that central bit that we've oh, seen so far. Around. The city, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. You can easily rely on the Prague trams and the Prague trams. metro. There's also buses and ferries. We don't really have uh, trams in the UK, do we? Not really. Not really. No. Or a three-day ticket validated. I remember them having them in Switzerland. Then your trip will be hassled. Oh, Sorry. Well. I remember we had trams in Switzerland, and that was quite. Yes, and Portugal has trams. We didn't use them. We didn't use them, but no. we saw them. Yeah. Does Romania have Romania trams? Romania has a lot of trams. Oh, yeah. Transportation free. 
Among the to-do tips, I'm gonna sometimes add a not to do, so don'ts. Yes. Uh, in yes, this please. Case, it will be yes, those hop on hop off buses. People will be offering them to you. Uh, don't use them. They're overpriced and they're just stuck in traffic. Nobody uses a bus in the uh, historical <laughs> <laughs> center. Oh, them uh, and the second nice. so are taxis that just kind of sit, hang around. Uh, Prague city center is really yeah. remarkable. You don't need a that taxi. Really nice. That looks really nice. One of these apps. That must be that bridge. That bridge behind, the yeah. Price up front. Now, I think Uber's away as well, because it's just easy, isn't it? It's now very easy to even communicate. Uh, so, we don't use euros or dollars. so they have their own so currency. It's for you to exchange whatever currency you have yeah. to our currency, but you don't really need to do that. I'm worried about his laptop. He's, what, it's going to fall over? Yeah, he's like, right, he's in the water pretty much, isn't he? He's on obviously in the <laughs> pier or something. He's just sat in the water <laughs> with a laptop, but the guy's crazy. <laughs> It may be oh, I just noticed tennis. behind him, I think we just moved away okay. when he comes back on the screen. Um, that church that oh, we what? saw in the square, oh, okay. I think it's the one that you see behind him. Oh, really excuse sure. me. Yeah, we'll so, have a look. Have a look. You will see exchange offices everywhere, uh, okay. but you can just pay with your card. It's ah, that's, that's really good to know. We are hmm. a tapping crazy nation, meaning we just <laughs> yeah. tap it's just a bit like that. Us, us, yeah. So if you have a card ah, in your phone, you can oh, just yes. move around. Now, if you do want some cash and you do want to use an exchange office, you have to be extremely cautious because some of the exchange offices, especially at the airport or in some touristy areas, will have very bad rates. The yeah. office may say 0% fees and commissions, but then they'll trick you on the bad rates. So please be careful. Make money you somehow, always have three hours yes. to uh, return back your exchange. Oh, uh, if that's you, odd, isn't it? You can actually return it in three hours. Card. Because if you don't carry any cash around, then uh, you can't lose it too, right? Now, whenever we make a video about this card, topic, there's two mm -hmm. types else can start that appear below. And one is, well, I'm not a stupid tourist. I exchange money before I go. So I'm going to get my check crowns in an American bank. Well, first of all, good luck getting our currency somewhere <laughs> abroad. And second, if you do have that luck to find a bank or an exchange office out of the Czech Republic that will get you Czech crowns, I can guarantee you it will be at a bad rate. <laughs> so rather use our map yeah. for good yeah. exchange offices, mm. we will link it oh, okay, below okay, the video. So the exchange offices and number two, and this is the most common regarding money them. and exchange mm. offices and so on, is people always write, I'm not a silly tourist to exchange money, you know? I'm just going to use an ATM because I can trust those ATMs. They obviously really have a charge, don't they? ATMs right? charge ridiculous fees. Uh, so if you yeah, do want to use yeah. an ATM, always make sure to decline conversion. It's quite mm. complicated topic, but if you just remember to decline conversion, uh, that should keep you safe. But there will still be some fee for getting the money out of the ATM. And one last tip, simple. Oh, so Never you're paying. Money on the yeah, so you're, so you're, you're paying, paying on conversion for the transaction to take the money out, and, and then the on the conversion they have a not so great rate, I guess. Oh, that's okay. Never exchange money on the street. Okay. Um, well, I mean, oh. oh no. Okay. I think it, I hope it's just an ad, but I, I messed up and pressed something. What am I going to drink? When I'm going to Prague. Well, I'll leave that up to you. But water oh, this is safe one for you. to drink. Not this one from the river, but tap water <laughs> is. It's actually the most common asked question among tourists when they Google search the is tap water drinkable? Yes, it is. I guess it's a valid oh, question when so you go to somewhere the city. If there's a water fountain, if there's any faucet, you know, from a building, it has to be drinkable water. If it's not, there to has to be a sign. That's why there's a sign in the river, see? Do not drink. It's right there. <laughs> Please don't drink the water from the river. Fun. And from water, we can easily transition to another favorite drink of the locals, and that is beer. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, tap beer running from our faucets at our houses, but we usually go. Ah, why not? Uh, so try any of the local beers you will uh, find. Uh, we are the country that gave the world the Pilsner type beer. So if you want to oh, try hmm. the original I didn't Pilsner, know that. Pilsner I didn't know that. it is. Czech Republic is the place to drink it. You may be surprised mm -hmm. that when they bring you the beer, it will look like this and not like this. And you may also be surprised that it's priced quite low. Uh, as of right now, we're filming this in the summer of 23. Uh, the average price for a good beer will be around 60 crowns, which is this in euros. Sure. 
But I feel like I should give you crowns so you will have an idea what's going on. Yes, thank you. Not only Czech beers, you can also try the Czech wines or Moravian wines, which are from the region of Morava, or any non-alcoholic drinks like the Czech Kofola, which uh, I don't it? like. We'll try it and it looks like a tea. Now let's look like coke. some honesty into this video. And I don't know. Two things people usually get wrong about our country and our city regarding alcohol. Number one, no, we do not drink absinthe like crazy. And most of the absinthe, I would say 99%, <laughs> you will see for sale in shops around the city center are not real absinthe. And they're just there for tourists. They're just very hard overpriced liquor. So do some research before you try it. I guess it's and like number two, and, stuff, and this goes Aww. out to you, young Americans. So listen to me. Uh, it is not legal to drink alcohol in public in Prague, Czech Republic. Uh, oh, most of the streets that's actually are really good to know. To... So no street drinking. No basically. street drinking. Yeah, like. So obviously in premises. You yeah, that's but... fine. But don't take your drink with don't you next wandering. to, to the pub or something. I suppose it, it, you wouldn't necessarily though, would you? Because obviously you'd have a glass and you have to give it back to the that relevant pub. But mm. if you have a can or something, yes. Yeah. Guess... One, two. Mm. Add to your memory bank. Yeah, he said street drink. drink. Is that, is that not allowed, like soft drinks as well? Fine for it, especially if you're toasted. Now, don't get me wrong. I want you to enjoy your travels and have a good time. Just please keep in mind that if you party like crazy, try to like keep it in the club, not on the streets. There are still locals around, and they will yeah. be very unhappy uh, if you. you That's know, a very wake reasonable them up request, isn't it? Morning, mm. Or even midnight. One thing I'm not too sure about at the moment is like I don't know what to pack because obviously the weather wise I don't know is it is it warm in Prague like or is it kind of England where it rains and you know what I mean I'm really unsure there I'm gonna have to do yeah, some research on the weather. Yeah, look into it I guess for the time um, of year when you're going. I don't know if you guys know what the weather's like in May in in Prague, but so any hints or tips would be handy as to what to pack <laughs> because basically you know I'm going on a stag do so I guess. If you I'll get probably... a choice, that is. Maybe there's a whole plan no, situation. No, 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 no. I don't need to it's Not for up. you. No. I'm not the stag. <laughs> I'm not the stag. I get to watch someone get humiliated. I don't get to be the one. Who... I've been not there and done time. that. I'm done. No, I've done that. I'm done. So partying till 3 a.m. is okay? No. <laughs> Food and what are you going to eat on your travels to Prague, Czech Republic? Interesting. Well, of course, you can try the varieties of Czech food. That's a curry or a stew, isn't it? You're gonna find stuff like uh, bread, dumplings, sauce, dumplings. and oh, some meat. So here's a mm. list of a few restaurants we can recommend. So you can freeze frame the picture now and write them down. But don't okay. worry, if you're not into those, we have many other cuisines in Prague. I mean, Looks Prague like is a big city. So if you feel oriental. like having a pizza, pizza. A burger, I'm having pizza or whatever, yeah. you will find it here. We do get tons it's of a big questions city, regarding so, yeah. it. Yeah. Mostly from vegetarians, vegans, or if people have a special diet, they worry if they will find such place that will suit them in Prague. Yes, you will. Millions of people live in Prague, wow. so there are vegans, there are people That's who awesome. have diets, and so on. Uh, we usually also check uh, reviews before we go to a place. You should do the check same the in Prague because yeah. there are still. I mean, to be fair, I'll probably look into places a little bit anyway. The city center. In there, or uh, what take... people do when I walk across the main squares, a tourist will stop me and ask me, Hey, where would you go for lunch? So you can do the same, and I believe the local will gladly. I wonder how accessible fast food is there because obviously yes he's talking about restaurants and whatnot but i wonder if there is fast food you know like here like we have fast food everywhere you know you can i'm pretty sure you it, it's a it's a capital city you, have, pretty, stuff, you, you right? have to he's obviously talking you know about Just the nicer generic, things yeah. or the more common things gladly help you speaking of locals and local stuff or traditional stuff you will see one thing oh, that will say local cream. traditional, and that is this. Oh, oh. uh, unfortunately, it's mm. not local or mm. traditional for Czechs. It's local yes. and traditional <laughs> for tourists coming to Czech. If there is something that is sweet and traditional to our country, it are things like these, like Vietrník, Vieneček, Rakvička, Kolač, Indianek, and so on. So I like the bun and the glazed bun, that looks, these, uh, that's a bit There are good. still few in the city centre left you and nice. have yourself I might have to try some stuff just You should. Grab a load yeah. of stuff. 
Oh no! Oh, no. Um, yeah, we need you to bring in. Guys. Language. Uh, now we do not speak English. I mean, uh, yes, many of us do, but our mother tongue is Czech. Uh, but don't worry, in the city center, in big cities, in touristy areas, English is obviously widely spoken. I mean, most of the people you will talk to, like people working at restaurants and hotels, many of them will not be Czech. There will be different nationalities. Oh my god, together. apologies, sorry. In English, I don't know what's happening. It's not that late. Place, it's not, like it's actually quite early for us. Coffee place or a restaurant for you. That only Anyone will think I'm a night owl, Maybe but I'm clearly not acting like it right now. No. Uh, it has been a, a busy day. Yeah. A good place. In that case, it will be handy to have a Google Translate ready in your phone. Okay, so if we if you go to uh, somewhere where they don't speak, a yeah, just in our no, English, so. make a little bit of an effort also, in places as well. Place, you can say Dobri den. Hello. Dobri uh, den. Děkuji, which is thank you. Děkuji. You can say prosím, which is please. Uh, people prosím. Will smile at prosím you. is please. Prosím. Safety. Oh, really Another nothing. term yeah. that people usually search in association with Prague and they worry about it before they come. Well, you don't have to worry about it. Prague is safe. I feel like I don't even want to continue, but yes, you can occasionally uh, come across a tourist trap that will cost you a bit more. Uh, maybe sometimes it'll yeah, overpay I guess that's something the case that can happen. Yeah. And yes, there are still some cases of pickpockets. Uh, in the crowd, yes, they can pick your wallet. Uh, if you leave your bag just hanging somewhere uh, on the um, chair in a... I was thinking about this though, actually. What I'm thinking about is getting like, um, like a lanyard style mm. thing and just have my, my card in there. So I don't even need a wallet then, do I? I literally have my card in the lanyard around my neck and I can just go doot, doot. What? You still need pockets for your phone and stuff. Yeah, if I'm, I mean, I guess you to can be honest, get... if anyone steals this phone, like, I think they'd be doing me a favour. It's like <laughs> iPhone 1. It's so bad, like, honestly. I think um, you can get one of those, it's kind of like a lanyard, but it's got more little a few cards and a pocket and this and that so it's not just one card it's not just like that silly plastic thing that you can yeah sorry i didn't mean a literal lanyard thing, yeah but i mean like, like the, the concept of travel it. yeah i'll have, to have a look at something that goes around my neck because oh, i think that'd be a handy place you can put it over the shoulder on the side so it's not just necessarily hanging well no i was thinking center. more for inside like i can have it inside and i can put it out when i need it okay well we can look into something I i'm sure so. i think that's a cool idea I'm sure there are options up restaurant and you leave to use the bathroom yes there may be a case of some theft so that's why i said in the beginning yeah, just don't carry what yeah. you don't around, your bag around. It's not needed so if that happens to you you don't need to worry much two more safety tips i want to mention uh for you to stay safe uh, are regarding transportation kind of uh, the one is that we do have trams street cars that run on the streets and not uh, all tourists are used to that they will not stop at a crosswalk. They will not stop. Yeah. You think of them as big trains. They're heavy. They're on tracks. So they have the right of the way. Please do not. That's run actually in interesting to note because yeah. you'd assume a crossing is kind of safe, crossing, right? Yeah. Better to be on the tram than Death by tram. the tram, obviously. And one more thing uh, that is regarding the <laughs> lime scooters. Forest they bikes. Are illegal. <laughs> to be used in pedestrian zones, which is oh. most of the city center, and sidewalks. Tourists That's not very really useful then, is it? So they, and that is I'm assuming then they have, you know, cycle lines that they're allowed to be used on, yeah. or on just the side of the road. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense, but I, I'm guessing they have options to mm -hmm. keep these guys safe as well. Is simply not safe because they go certain speed and pedestrians go certain speed. So if you want to use these that square looks really good, I like overpriced mm. non-ecological bullshit it reminds me a bit of scooters scooters that were Oh, tell us how you feel about it. Historical <laughs> European city. I, I, I completely missed that. What was that? <laughs> um, you have to go back. Okay. Then. Just go a few seconds uh, back. Okay. Let's just. Yeah, right. Oh, no, it's just no, there. You have to go a bit more. So if you yeah. want to use these extremely overpriced, non-ecological bullshit green scooters... <laughs> oh, fair. Okay, I see. ...that are used in a historical European city, ride them on <laughs> the road, not on the sidewalks, <laughs> for everyone's safety. Once I make it to Prague, what should I do? 
Well, there's no easy answer to that. Uh, do whatever uh, your heart desires. I mean, it's pretty obvious you're gonna wanna see those uh, big highlights, you know, the bridge, the castle, the clock, uh, but you can do many oh, other yes. things. And to prove my point, there's no simple answer and you can be listening to me for hours and hours and hours talk about this city. Uh, we've been doing this show Honest Guide for, what is it now, seven years, Honza? That's wow. crazy, man. Go. So there are tons of that videos nice. that we mm. covered from our city. We do day trips, we cover other cities, we cover different topics. Uh, so now, Can't since you're already here on YouTube, you can go through our videos. There are other guides uh, that make yeah, videos about Prague. Maybe you're more into food, you're into fashion and so on. So just, uh, you know, click around and it will guide you wherever you want to go. I know you're going to have many follow-up questions and you're going to feel like, well, I should reach out to these guys on their Instagram or on their Facebook and ask them <laughs> there. Well, the chances nice. of us answering no, are slim to none yeah, because many yeah. people do that. So do this right under this video. We will try in the first few hours after uploading this to answer uh, all of your questions. Or maybe after that, some other locals from Czech Republic from Prague may answer whatever your question is or, or some fellow travelers that have already been here. And now the final ultimate tip for Prague, just come here. It, it's a cool city, I, I love it. And uh, come to this place, uh, have a beer, you know, sit down, just enjoy the view. Very relaxed. Cool. Mm -hmm. And in the end, I always really teach cool. a Czech word in these videos. Uh, and uh, this time I'll teach you how to say a pier because we're sitting on a pier and it is yeah. mall. Mall. Mall is a pier. It's not really sounding in the L though, it's yeah, like Molo. Yeah, it's a, a different Molo. sound, Molo, Molo. And uh, there's a boat approaching the Molo, so we should leave the Molo. <laughs> I, I can't. There's a bit of an I, I can't, in there. Yeah, I can't yeah. really get that. That's cool. Yeah, it's a very that, nice video. I like I think, the way they've yeah. done it, really. It's very well constructed, the yes, video. And I think yeah. I, I, I like the, obviously, the humour in there. Yeah. And it, yeah, everything was about it was really well done. It's too, really so. good. Even the little subtle, you know, check out our Instagram, check yes, out our Facebook. Yeah, and really nicely up, like, done. They, um, they're doing a good job on it. So yeah, we no, might check good. some of their other videos. Um, yeah, I definitely. The think... quality of the videos is really nice the way they've done it. So if they've got topics that we're interested in mm. um, and they've covered, then I guess yeah, why I mean, not? Why not? It was, a, it was an easy watch, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was, was entertaining. Lovely. It was, it was yeah. nice to watch. It, Very, keeps it was you, kind like, of engaged. informative as well. So yeah. I kind of I like that. So um, what have we learned? What have you learned? So we've learned that I just need a credit card. I don't need any cash. And I'll probably struggle to get cash anyway yeah. without getting ripped off. So card. That's a win there. Well, not a credit card, a debit card, any card. Any card. Um, transportation, not so much because it's yeah, kind of I think arranged. The transportation. It's good if, to know if if like, when you're traveling within. Yeah, I, I have no idea yeah. where I'm staying in, and what relation it is yeah. to wherever I need to be, you know. So... Obviously, if I'm traveling around, I can just jump on a tram or a train or a bus, a bus. or whatever is yeah. there, really, and that's convenient. But also, to be honest, I will probably use my phone for sat-nav, if it's capable, of course. If you need to. Um, but that will allow me to navigate quite easily, even when I'm absolutely smashed. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, so very informative video. Yeah, it's really good, good to points. know, and uh, nothing really worrying or... no it seems like a nice it actually seems, seems like quite a, really a pleasant chilled, chilled city, yeah and it? it looks beautiful like some of the architecture i was definitely we... getting some sort of lisbon vibes from like a little know, bit like some of the squares and the yeah. paths and the pavings yeah a little bit that stuff. It's pretty very cool. nice um, i'm, I'm kind of jealous that he's going to prague without the me. thing is i'm going to prague without her but i don't know how much of prague i'm actually going to see mm. you know i might as well just be in london <laughs> because wow. i don't think i'm going to see a great deal but we'll see we'll see yeah um but yeah if you like we saw guys please like and subscribe support the channel every little bit helps um definitely helps us a lot um also if you look in the description below you'll see the link to the original video by honest guide um obviously jump over to their channel give them some support their videos are really well really, made really good um, videos yeah and yeah i think i think that wraps everything up isn't it yeah we'll see you in the next, one. The next one bye guys bye.